we live on a farm. And so we don't get Wi-Fi in all of our buildings because they're so far apart. But no longer we have an AI wireless CPE bridge brought to us by Ada Love. Wi-Fi is important when you live on a farm. You need to be able to have service anywhere you go. Yeah, it's fine here in the house, but it's not when you get out to our outfields. Let me take you out there. A company by the name of Ada Love reached out to me and asked me if we could use a Wi-Fi bridge. I say, I didn't know much about a Wi-Fi bridge until my son said, Mom, just think of it as an invisible line, an invisible wire that runs from the house to the shop. I'm not going to be actually installing it onto the buildings today because that takes a big ladder and it takes somebody who's not afraid of heights, and that's not me. So, uh, that being said, I'm going to wait until my husband can do that. But for today, I'm going to show you how I hook up this Add a Love wireless bridge. Now, wireless bridge, you can just imagine, it's like an invisible cable that reaches from your house to another building. So, without a cable. <laughs> anyway, let me get started and show you how to do this. It comes nicely boxed, and in the box, you, of course, have a great set of instructions. They're really easy to follow. There are two main components, and they are called the master and the slave bridge. On the master, it's set at A, and on the slave, it's set at B. When you take the end off, it just slides off, and you'll see two places to slide in a uh, Ethernet cable. There's an A port and a B port. I don't, I don't know if that's what they're labeled as, but. And you're going to want to slide the A one into the A position. It comes with a PoE, that's your power Ethernet cable. And so we'll plug part of the Ethernet cable into the PoE and one into the master. And once it's turned on, there's also going to be a little um, LED light. I guess it's an LED light, but it's going to light up and you want to match them up to each other. It comes with uh, two Ethernet cables, but you're going to need more Ethernet cables. I needed two more, and I may need more <laughs> when I hang it up. I don't know. <laughs> so, but it does come with mounting brackets, and they're really simple brackets. You can remove the wing nuts and then remove the part that anchors to the pole um, and then mount it directly to the building. And that's what we're going to be doing is mounting them to the building. But you can, like I said, mount it to a pole and not mount it to your building. Of course, it comes with all of the hardware that you need, um, bolts and clips, and and I'm thinking this is to go through the wall. I'm not sure, but probably. And of course, you have all of your clamps. You can clamp them onto the pole, onto a post, they send you bigger ones that you can clamp onto a post. And that's what the POE looks like. So, in the master, I'm just simply plugging in the ethernet cable into the first position. And yeah, it's very simple. Just plug and play. This system can reach up to 1.9 miles. And it's perfect for seamlessly connecting distant buildings, barns, farms, and shops. So I'm pretty excited about this. And your cameras. The cap just keeps it really neat and tidy. So we have, of course, our Starlink. And then we have 
a deco mesh router for our Starlink. And so I am going to plug in a Cat8 cord into the back of the deco mesh router and connect that to our bridge, the master. And I'm just gonna show you how easy this is to connect. I'm not gonna be installing it because like I said, I have to get big ladders to go onto the roof and I need to get some longer ethernet cable. So I've plugged it in and I'm using a Cat8 cable so that I can put it through the window for right now. And um, now I'm going to plug in the PoE and we'll see what happens. So now I have the ethernet cable hooked up to the mesh router. And then I have it hooked up to the Adelove um, master and to the PoE, PoE's plugged in. As I said, it's an easy plug and play installation. It has pre-programmed WDS mode for effortless setup without needing to assess the GUI, making it user-friendly and quick to deploy. Okay, so we have the master going on the Wi-Fi and we have them set to see and you just push this button right here and move it to C. We have this one set on A because it is master. The LAN PoE cable goes in one and the router cable goes in this other one on the other side of the C. Now on this one, I just hooked it up just simply to show you that you set this one to C as well and it is not hooked up to a router yet so but it is showing and they're connected and it goes in the LAN 2 so that cable does so now we're going to take it over to the shop and hook it up as well i'm just going to set this in the window for now Okay, so I have it set in the window. The shop is right way over there. And um, then I will show you when we get to the shop. As you can see, there's several buildings. There's a barn over there. And here's the house. Then we have a garage. Then we have a shop. And we have another building on the other side of the garage. So we're heading over here to the shop. And it's going to go in that window. We're out here at the shop and I'm just right now currently working at getting this connected. Um, it's all plugged in and once I get it connected, I'll show you on this other cell phone that we have out here. Yeah, it's connected. Oh, yes, I can play a video. And wow, look at they're doing good. Okay. So we have it in that window over there. That top window. And then we have it in This window over here. See it right there. Yes, and it will be mounted up there and up above that window on the shop. So, but I need help doing that. And I'm not going to show that in this video, but I want to thank the good people. Of With a durable outdoor design. Built with an IP65 rated enclosure, the CPE is waterproof, dustproof, and resistant to harsh weather conditions, ensuring reliable performance in outdoor it environments. It has versatile mounting options, includes 
two adjustable bracket mounts offering flexible installation whether you want to put it on vertical or horizontal adjustments for optimal signal alignment with advanced 14 dbi high grain gain excuse me antenna it ensures strong directional signal transmission and reception i'll leave a link in the description box below thank you ada love